So this is the printout in case of octopus. Here you get the data of the patient. The most important to be sure that the date of birth is the same. It's the correct birth, date of birth entered. Then this is the gray scale, but here it is colored instead of the black and white and the Humphrey. And the value tables, these are the numerical values we see in the Humphrey. And in the Humphrey, we get here a total deviation and pattern deviation are the same here, but they are called comparison table and corrected comparison table. And this is the probability plot of these numbers. The only difference here in the octopus, if there is no difference between the value of the patient and the normal, you get a sign like plus sign. But if there is a difference, then you get certain numbers. If the difference up to five decibels, the program will not write anything, just give you the sign plus it's accepted normal. But higher than the five, say six, seven, eight difference, then you get the numbers written down there. And here we get the probability of occurrence of these points, like we said in the Humphrey. Then in this area, you get what's known as the BB curve. This is the grayscale, this is the numerical values, L comparison. And as I told you, if there is differences within five decibel, you don't have numbers, you just get this sign. Higher than that, you get numbers. Certain apparatus, when the difference is more than four only, you start to get the numbers. This is the BB curve or the cumulative data curve. In this case, the numbers of the patient are ranked, are arranged from the higher to the lowest, regardless of the location of the, this tested point. Just the values, you get certain values, they are ranked from the highest on this side and gradually to the lowest on this side. This is the normal range. This is the 100% and this is the 95, and this is 105. So if our patient values located in the normal, it will be drawn in blue. If any segment is outside the normal, it will be drawn in red. For example, in this patient, this is the normal values, and our patient all over the sensitivity is less than the normal. Here, the first points, blue is normal, then you get a drop in the sensitivity of the remaining points. So in this line, we draw the, location, the, the different locations, and here the sensitivity of the different locations. So it's easy, if you are comparing two fields, you would say there is affection and it is the same or it is depressed. The same thing applied what we discussed before in the Humphrey. Then we get here the global indices. We get the same mean deviation. In the octopus, we get an extra number, which is the mean sensitivity. In the Humphrey, we get the pattern standard deviation. In the octopus, we get the loss variance. I told you before, the difference between standard deviation and loss variance, or the variance, I mean. The variance is the value before getting the square root. If you get the square root, it's the standard deviation. And at the end, you get the reliability factor which is just before in the octopus, we'll, in the Humphrey, we say we need to check fixation losses, false positive, false negative. The same is here, but here, the both the three points, the three factors are collected together into a reliability factor. If this factor is less than 15, it's reliable. If higher than 15, it's not reliable. 15%.
all the same